MapleStory data miners recently discovered a brand new cube that GMS might be releasing in the future, the UniCube, which is expected to be 3.5k NX in cost. The UniCube is originally from TMS, so that's where the footage and the chance statistics for this video is coming from. There is no guarantee that GMS will follow, but here's the video anyway. This cube lets you reroll any single line on your equipment's main potential, but there's a slight catch. After all, it would be way too easy for you to just simply select a single line and reroll that line. So of course, Nexon puts a little twist on it. The cube comes with two parts. The first part, line selection. When you use the cube, it will randomly select a line for you. The second part, line reroll. If you like the line that the cube selected, then you can use the cube to reroll that line. However, if you don't like the line that's selected, then you can just skip over it and use another cube to reroll the line selection process. Regardless of what you pick, whether to reroll that line selection or not, a cube gets consumed. Let's say I want to reroll the second line for an item, I would use one cube and if it selects the first or third line, I will have to keep using another cube until it selects the second line. Then once it selects the second line, I can just simply reroll the stats on that second line. Each cube will be a new chance to select one of the three lines, and you can't simply lock the line that you want to reroll and keep rerolling that line with each cube usage. Each individual line has 33.33% chance of being selected for a reroll, and each line has a 15% chance to get any prime line, and 85% chance to get any non-prime line. In other words, just because you selected the first line as your reroll, there's no guarantee that the first line will be a prime line. And also, it's an equal chance for any line to be selected. Now, I bet you're wondering, who should be using these cubes? These cubes are definitely made for min-maxers and end-game players. Don't be using these cubes to reroll trashy, unique, or legendary items. I would say two main groups of people use these cubes, end-game players and Omega Whales who give zero shits about money on this game. If you're the typical endgame player, these cubes are excellent for rolling a non-prime last line. For example, I have a 23% strength, 7% all stat line on my Sweetwater Pendant. I'm rolling over the 7% all stat and aiming for 10% strength line instead. The 10% strength line is a non-prime line, so using these cubes will be very cost efficient. However, I also have a Guardian Angel Ring that is 10% all stat and 20% strength. I would definitely not use these uni cubes to recube this 10% all stat line into a 13% strength because it's a lot harder to roll a prime line than it is to roll a non-prime line. Instead, I would re-roll this ring for a 13-10 before using the uni cube to roll for a 10% strength on that last line. For the Omega Whales, you guys will most likely get double prime first using black, equality, violet, or whatever other cubes. Then use the UniCube to reroll that last line for either a prime line or a non-prime line. Be prepared to spend, but you knew that anyways. As an example, Omega Whales will probably get a 13x13 item, then reroll that middle line for a 10 or 13%. The UniCube isn't the only cube GMS took from TMS. Another cube that came from TMS is the Quality Cube. Watch this video next, in which I use them to roll 3 line crits on a pair of gloves to see how powerful they are. Special thanks to M for Murder for supporting the channel. If you want to support my videos and receive a shout out as well, make sure to hit that join button down below, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.